everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. I'm back in my little corner of like stuff. Um, because at the moment I have my Christmas set up over there and I just don't want to like show it to you right away because we've got like loads of Christmas videos coming up and I've got gift guides and just like loads of things. So anyway, so because it's the end of November I thought I have to do my monthly favourites before I lose the run of myself and then it's December and then we're all in that Christmas air thing. So I want to show you some of the things that I've loved over the month of November. I keep saying December. Month of November. Even though it was such a busy month. My God, so busy, but so good. Let's get stuck in. First up is the Bioderma Micellar Cleansing Water for Oily Combination Skin, which I have. And I really enjoy it. I have very sensitive eyeballs, so I have to be really careful about what I use on my eyes to take off my eye makeup. And this is brilliant. I don't see or feel a huge difference between this one and the regular, like the one with the red thingy. Um, but yeah, really enjoying this. And it's only a small one, because I was like, I just have to try a small one first and then I'll see how I get on. Um, otherwise I'd be raging if I spent loads of money on a big one that didn't work but it does work so I'm gonna buy the big one either or but they're brilliant so yeah love that another thing I have been obsessed with is this Rodial Rodial or Rodile? I don't know um, Glam Bam Lip Bam it comes in a pot and I got a little tube of it I think it was in a goodie bag last year and I basically ate the whole thing because it was so nice on the lips and it feels really it felt really moisturizing and nourishing but then they discontinued it so when I saw this I don't know where who was it I think I might have been with Orla for Makeup Over Mind I was with Orla and um, in Space and K and I saw this and I was like okay I have to get it it was 14 euro perfect for those who have dry lips like I am obsessed with lip balms I think I said before I'm about 62% lip balm this is gorgeous though because I just basically eat it when you apply it it melts on the lips and I feel that it really does nourish and hydrate the lips it doesn't just sit on top of the skin if that makes sense so like look how far into it I'm, I'm already I'm totally gonna repurchase this again it's 14 euro like so it's spending in the lip balm department but if you're looking for a treat for yourself treat yourself so when I was on that shopping trip with Orla for makeup over mind that is her full name to me. Um, we went into Brown Thomas to the Charlotte Tilbury counter because we wanted to try out the new foundation. Think. And the girls in there, they were so nice and they gave us a few different samples of different colours so we could kind of try them out, test them out, see what worked. And I ended up going back then, I think the next week, to buy this bottle that I have in my hand. And I got the shade 4, which is fair. Oh my god, lads. Oh my god, I love it. So I have um, oily T-zone, kind of normal cheeks. I can be prone to a bit of dryness um, in the winter, but I've been trying to like look after that. But can we just talk about the packaging, please? It's so art deco we oh, I love it. And this part is glass, and then this part is rose gold, and then it has like the little pump that you pump out. Um, so if you're looking for something that is medium to high coverage, now I have it on today, and I I love the finish. I love the finish. But what I found, because I've been trying it with like a few different application methods, um, I find that if I use it with a beauty blender that is facial perfection in the makeup department. Um, so where am I thinking? I need to get another one. So I make sure this is like really, really damp, squeeze it out, squeeze out the excess, pour, pour some of this onto the back of my hand, dot it around my face, and lads, it just gives you the most flawless finish to your face. And that's what it's all about, especially in winter. I love having like a really flawless base. And um, yeah, it's completely buildable as well. Cause I like to apply one layer, assess the situation, see where I need more coverage, which is generally kind of here on my cheeks, maybe on my forehead and around my nose. And lads, this is gorgeous. I find that when I use it with the brush, like a buffing brush, it doesn't sit on my skin as nicely as when I use this. I feel that it highlights all the dry parts on my skin and if, I don't think it goes on evenly. So if you have this and if you're having trouble with it, put it on with this. It's like a Cilota double wear actually in terms of consistency, it's quite thick. Um, but the finish is just beautiful. I'm gonna do a full review on this and have before and after photo so you can see what I look like sans makeup, avec makeup. And yeah, and this lasts all day. It has SPF 15 in it, which is grand. Not that I see any light of day at the moment anyway. Um, but yeah, I find that it stays all day. I don't need to powder my skin. Sometimes I will powder it with my beloved, this, my, um, my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light. Like, look how... Oh, but if I do use this, it's just to powder my T-zone um, and just here and here which is like the oily parts and that's if I want it to last from day until if I'm going out after work at night. You know me, I haven't had the best look when it comes to high-end foundations but this is gorge my lord. So yeah, I could have gotten away with a three and a half or a four or even a three and it goes for, I don't know how many shades there are actually, I'll find out and let you know but I love that. It's 40 euro, it's so expensive but I love it, so glad because I think I spent that much on a Chanel foundation which just did not work for me at all. This text Charlotte Tilbury for doing this. 
Next up, I have been obsessed with the Blank Canvas Cosmetic Brushes all month. No other brush has gotten a look in. I feel bad for them. And I just grabbed like a few so I could talk to you about them today. And I love their eye brushes so much so that I bought loads in this sale and it was all on the weekend, but anyway. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to talk to you about this. This is the F32 and it's like the small contour, contour, contour brush and it's square and you can just really like hammer in cheekbone basically it's like a chisel you can hammer in your cheekbones brush it up like that and it's so soft as well and it comes in a bigger size i love an alfam brush for a bit of highlight on top that is the f05 and it's also lovely for applying a powder really really lightly over the face but for highlight that's the one to go for and then I've spoken to you about this before, the F28. It is one of those must-have all-rounder brushes. You can use it to apply concealer. You can use it to do pinpoint con um, contouring. You can use it to do a little bit of powdering. You can use it to blend your eye. You could just put it all over your face. Just use I have like three of these now. And then this brush is the F04. Again, if you're into contouring, I use this for blush as well. And look, it's lovely and clean and lovely. And they wash like a dream. They're so affordable, such good value for money. And um, yeah, if you ever see them on sale, stock up or buy some for presents, or add them to your Christmas wish list this year. Just that in. A palette that I have been obsessed with this month is the Love Inglot palette. Oh, so good. <laughs> 10 eyeshadows in there, four shimmers, six mattes, so, and this is exclusive to Ireland. So what they've done is they have picked out 10 of the best-selling shades from Inglot, like all over Ireland, and put it into a palette. So it just takes the hassle out of buying an eyeshadow palette for somebody if you're not sure what shades that they might like they're gonna love these so you have like your mix of neutrals your warm colors your pop of color here this cranberry shade is delicious and and um, this purple shade is divine and i have been using like all oh, it's just so nice again inglot shadows are amazing pigmentation amazing quality they blend like a dream they just make me so happy i really like this blend of colors because i have been using um this shade here, I don't know what it's called, I, I'll put all the numbers um, in the link below, but this shade is a great transition shade, this orangey shade, and then I use this in the outer corner, and then this is a really nice transition shade as well, it's more neutral. You have some shimmer, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. And this shade here, this one, I don't know what it's called, I have been using it as a highlight as well on my cheekbones, because I'm wild, I tell you, wild. So yeah, totally add this to your Christmas wish list. It's 75 euro, works out at 750 per eyeshadow. That's a bargain. Is it not? Yeah, it is. Look, it has a magnetic top and everything. It's lovely. Another eyeshadow palette that I just had to give a little shout out to is the Vice 4 palette from Urban Decay. Hold on. Oh, would you look at it? Inside you get 20 eyeshadows and they are gorgeous. I am such a big fan of Urban Decay eyeshadows. And I have, today I'm wearing Bitter in the Crease. Then also this one, which is called Delete in the Crease and in the outer corner. And then I've applied this amazing shade, what is it called? Flame. I applied that wet. I used my Urban Decay setting spray um, to wet my brush, applied that onto the eyelid, and it's just gorgeous. Again, I'm gonna do a full blog post on this, showing you the, the um, swatches and everything. But like, look, if you're into a bit of color, it has it all there. If you want a bit of smokiness, there you go. I just think anybody would be happy to have this one for their Christmas trees, all I'm saying. It's lovely. And I literally have only just played with about half of them, but I'm obsessed. I've worn this eye look, I'd say about three or four times since getting the palette. And so yeah, it's this one, this one, and this one. Delicious. Oh, would you look at the packaging? It is just beautiful. So yeah, and it comes in this gorgeous pouch that you can use as a makeup bag if you want. And yeah, this is available now. Add it to your wish list, babies. And my final favourite of the month is this. It's one of the new Michael Kors perfumes and it's the Rose Radiant Gold one. I love the other two, but this one is my all-time favourite. And what I like to do is spray it on my scarf. So when I go and I meet people, I go say hi, they all go, oh, you smell lovely. And I'm like, yeah, no, I know it's this. It's really soft and um, slightly musky, really, really feminine and soft and perfect for this time of year. I have a full review on this on the blog, so I'll leave the link below where I talk about the other two as well. But like, would you just look at the packaging? This is the small version. You can get bigger and then bigger again and then they have sets as well with I think body lotion or shower gel and the perfumes I'm not sure perfume is always one of those things that you can buy for people over Christmas and Rose got they're gonna love this I tell you oh my god it's so nice it's just real lovely I'm so crap at describing perfumes I really do apologize but the rose rating gold is lovely the other two are as well but this is my favorite yeah you will be driven demented going but that's why you wear scarves to spray this on and also to clean it with. <laughs> it's lovely. So those are the things that I've loved in the month of November. They went by like that, poof, and now it's December. Tomorrow, if I upload this tonight, yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you liked in the month of November. Or if you've tried anything that I've mentioned here. Come on, let's enable each other. <laughs>